Very funny. Eric Renaud will be after that. Uh, right now, give it up for him. Hey, my uh, good guy. Hey, I like this guy. Darrell Davey, everybody. Give it up for him. This bitch. It's my first time back in a minute. And I'm gonna go and call me in a minute. Harvard Law on this bitch. I got the tie dye on this motherfucker. Gangster. A lot of motherfuckers who know me, a lot of my homies, a lot of other comics, they tell me, why don't you stop wearing your Harvard shirt? It's cheesy. And I'm like, okay, hmm. Why don't you stop not sucking my dick? Is that, could you guys stop not sucking my dick? Could you do that? I'm from Valencia. I don't play games. I know it's been about 25 seconds, but I sound like Tiger Woods, right? I sound like Barack Obama. From a place called Valencia, it's beautiful. Everybody cuts their grass, waters their flowers, walks their stupid ass dog named Scruffy. Fuck dogs. I'm gonna keep doing this joke. A lot of people keep on coming up to me. What are you talking about? This is my joke. Black people don't like pets. I don't wanna give, I don't wanna fucking hear about the one black person you know who walks their dog. Black people hate pets. That's my joke. Black people hate all pets. You guys want to find out? Follow me home, motherfuckers. I grew up with a dad who hates pets. You know, you guys know where dogs belong in a black house? In the backyard, motherfuckers. Not in the fucking dining room with the family eating dinner, eating bologna under the table. Not on the fucking couch in the backyard. And if the gate's open, the gate's open. If the dog runs away, the dog runs away. Fuck pets. <laughs> You guys ever see a dog try to see, you, ever, you guys ever see a black person try to sneak a dog in a restaurant? Fuck no. That's white people shit. You guys ever see a black person with a dog at the airport? Fuck no, that's white people shit also. You motherfuckers ever see a black person walking their dog? Fuck no, that's also white people shit. If you guys ever see a black person walk their dog, they're from Get Out. Brother? Brother, no fist bump. You're not black if you walk your dog. How do I know what's black and what's not? You're an Oreo, Duro. You sound like a white guy. You look like a black guy. I'm really black, okay? You guys, I know how to fuck up my hood. Don't fuck with me, okay? I don't look that tough, but I am, okay? Trust me. I've been in so many fights with my brother. This motherfucker at the comedy store, his name's Tony Hitchcliffe. A motherfucker made fun of my ruby red pinky ring. He didn't like it. He said, I'm glad you found your grandmother's wedding ring. Guess what I said, motherfuckers? I was like, yeah, I did, I found it, thanks, Tony. But I was wanting to tell him, because he's a famous comedian, I, I couldn't stand up, I couldn't step up to him, I'm a little bitch. So what I wanted to tell him was like, oh, okay, all right, Tony, you wanna make fun of my jewelry? Black people like jewelry, motherfucker. Making fun of my hate ring. What if I told you uh, I was gonna buy nine more rings just like this that fit all nine of my other fingers, wear them for the rest of my life, and also while I'm fucking your grandmother in the shower, and feeding her quaaludes <laughs> while we watch Good Times, The Cosbys, and Different Strokes. Would you like that, Tony? Fuck you, Tony Hitchcliffe, suck my dick. Okay? My name's Darrell. One last thing, I don't like, I don't like racist. <laughs> Donald Stern's a racist, didn't want to see black people at basketball games. Him saying I don't want to see black people at basketball games is like me saying I don't want to see white people at Starbucks. <laughs> or I drink coffee ever after I said it's only for me and my niggas. <laughs> Harvard Law, it's my time. <laughs>